Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at Bloodshore on the Nintendo Switch. This is the latest FMV from Wales Interactive, it's going for a Battle Royale theme so think your Fortnite of the world, but can it deliver or should you save that cash? Well hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. It's a story and we'll be following lead Nick as he enters a reality TV show known as Killstream. You guessed it, this is your PUBG's, Fortnite's and even Squid Games of the world. So basically, head to this location, battle it out to be a champ and walk away with life changing sums of money. Also, in tradition of the genre, you've got mines around this island that are slowly pushing you towards the centre. Throughout the story then though, we'll be jumping between the game mode, the broadcast and the audience at home watching. It's a formula that is no question popular. Nick is a decent lead then as well as this kind of washed up actor. But where it makes a play to be slightly different, it's in the fact you are not out to win, but rather you're looking to uncover the truth behind the show. It seems there's some dodgy things happening here. As story goes, at points it somewhat leans into ethical questioning, even propositions where we are going as a society, and mocks our generation's obsession with social media. But these moments, they're few and far between, and it rarely goes deep, rather gets back to the over-the-top cheesy action. I do wonder what maybe they could have delivered if they had gone this route of something a little deeper into these questions, but honestly look, the story works, the action is cheesy, the acting fluctuates from bad to okay, and this, it's by far Wales Interactive's most violent effort yet, visually with a whole lot of killings, so I think 18 plus R rated with this one. If you are a fan of FMV storytelling though, this should deliver, especially if you like your B movies, and it's for sure a fun theme. So gameplay and as always it's minimal, we get multiple choice answers that push this story forward. Rather than the typical two option format though, this one kind of branches out at times with a few extras in there and there's a whole lot to uncover. In fact a single run on average took me around an hour and 15 minutes, I played through it three times. But the game's packing 8 hours of footage. You can also select then streamer mode from the main menu that pauses on each decision so you can play with an audience of course or even a family around the sofa without the restrictions of a timer rushing you to make that call. Of course though, all of these decisions they lead to branching pathways and multiple endings. From the main menu then we also get a tracker which tells us all about our relationships and current ability, say team morale, audience opinion and so on. This for me is where Wales Interactive could improve on their formula now, give more indication of what footage is left to find and a better understanding of what each of these kind of areas means. If I knew for example I'd seen let's say 4 hours of the 8 hours of footage, I'd probably be more inclined to keep chasing it to see it all. Overall though, gotta say for gameplay it's the usual FMV affair. Visuals and audio together then, just due to the format, and first off it's clear they use some decent equipment here, the images like crisp, locations are varied, they've lent into CGI visual effects as well a fair bit, probably more than usual. Now are those effects good? Not particularly, but the broadcast moments give the air of almost, you know, the running man on 80s B-movie gold. And then the same goes for the blood, the attacks, the violence, the effects at points are just laughable, especially the parachute jump to open things. But it all comes together to kind of make that popcorn B-movie entertainment. And I actually managed to find a lot of, like, charm in moments where you laugh at the effects, but it gets the job done. Audio is fine, the dialogue is clean and crisp, the guns for the most part, the occasional one can be weak but most are nice and heavy, and yeah, it for sure would benefit from more environmental effects in the CGI heavy moments, just to bring a more natural balance to what we are seeing on screen. That said though then, music is quality, a synthwave soundtrack that any fan of that genre will absolutely enjoy. So the final verdict, and while I score every single one of my reviews here on the channel, I'm officially retiring from attaching a number to FMVs. It's just not possible. The gameplay, the way it all works, it's not built for that process, and really, this genre relies on one of two things. Either you've got a love for it, or a curiosity to what is contained in the theme of the story. For me though, Bloodshot got the B-movie balance right, and I'm here now questioning, was this bad to okay acting, or were they asked to do over-the-top characters? Was the violence and visuals realistic? 
Not at all, but who cares, it was fun and the gore still landed when they wanted it to. And finally, the story. It's pretty much the biggest genre in the world at this point, from Fortnite in gaming to Squid Games on Netflix, so its timing is for sure intentional and smart. It's not going to change your mind on the genre though gameplay light, but if you enjoyed something like the complex come here next because I really enjoyed it. And as far as FMVs go, you want one packing action, guns, mystery and a whole lot of explosions and blood, then Bloodshore should be your next stop. It's by far one of Wales Interactive's best efforts yet. I love the genre though as well, I love to support what they do and while these videos are never the most popular, it's a genre that absolutely, in my eyes at least, deserves the attention. There's a cult following for them and I am absolutely in that audience. Now will you be adding this one to the library then or are you holding on to that cash? A shout out then to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support a Switch Corner, it helps more than you know so thank you all so much then hit subscribe if you love the switch as much as we all do here join our growing family and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone <laughs>